Good day. This is Horn Osmageri, Get Kaizen Incorporated. Today we would like to talk about change point management. It's a methodology that anticipates and prepares for different types of changes which may affect the process. And with having predetermined plan of action, we are prepared for these changes when they occur. So you don't really have to devise a new plan every time a change occurs in your process. One of the changes could be the arrival and introduction of new team members. Anytime a new team member is introduced to the assembly line, to a process, you need to know exactly what to do beforehand. So when he or she comes, that new introduction of the team member does not impact your quality, your safety, your customer satisfaction, your cost, or your delivery adversely. There are laminated cards for every single category of change point management that upon introduction of those changes to the process, the cards are issued. When cards are issued, the team leader goes ahead and does whatever the card has determined the consequence and the countermeasure should be. As a result, the whole organization is quite prepared for unanticipated change. When team members arrive, the team leader has to put this new team member with an experienced team member, for example, for a period of four hours. We regularly monitor this person, making sure that the quality and safety are intact making sure that this person is learning, doing it correctly, and the experienced team member is helping the new team member that has been introduced to the line. The second change could be the implementation of new process. Let's say we Kaizen the process and we come up with a new way to implement new processes within the assembly line or within the factory or your organization. This new process may or may not have negative connotation for the rest of your organization. If these consequences are not considered beforehand and plan of action are not devised beforehand, then you will find yourself in a situation that you may compromise the customer satisfaction or quality or even sometimes safety of your team members. The change point management, again, will dictate at that point how exactly to behave if new processes are devised. New material is introduced, is number three. When we introduce new material to the process, meaning that the customer is changing the material, you come up with a cheaper type of material that you can substitute, or the model change dictates to you that you need to use new type of material. Based on that, what are the potential consequences of this new material introduction to your process? What kind of impact would they have to your quality? How would you have to adjust your process? What do you have to do with your material handling? How much dust do they produce in the air as a result of using this new material. All aspects have been brainstormed prior to introduction of new material or new processes or new team member. So as a result, when these changes occur, you are quite prepared to deal with them effectively. When environment changes, I'm sure you know that the process which works perfectly at three o'clock in the afternoon will not work with the same precision at 3 o'clock in the morning because most everything in the environment is changing. The temperature, the ambient dust and cleanliness of the air, and other factors in the environment have to be considered into your process. If you like to achieve zero defect, which is very possible and very practical if you are prepared, you should consider all these potential changes. So environment is change number four that you need to be prepared for. 
machine malfunction. What happens if one of your machines does not work as planned? What is your plan B? How would you assemble the parts if you don't fall behind? Do you have any manual assembly method? Would this manual assembly method keep the quality intact? Would this manual assembly method keep your speed intact? Would your customer be compromised as a result of late delivery? Substandard quality. Would your people suffer safety issues as a result of this manual assembly method? All those considerations should be taken into account before your machine actually malfunctions. If you wait until machine malfunctions and then decide how you want to do it, it may be too late. And you may be impacting all these categories that I mentioned negatively. The safety of your team members may be compromised, the delivery may be late, quality could be substandard, the cost may increase unnecessarily, and etc. So it's very important to use this change point methodology. And the last one, number six, is the quality issues. If there are quality issues discovered within your process, how would you behave? What are the countermeasures you would put in place to make sure you protect your customer? Customer expects quality as a very given thing. Customer does not understand that your machine malfunctioned or your people were not trained. How would you behave? How would you respond when a quality defect is discovered within your assembly? That will determine the difference between your success or the success of your competition if you are not prepared. I'm looking forward to discussing the other topics with you in our next video. Good day.